Greetings, everyone. Thanks for hopping along with us today at the hashtag Team Tiny April 2023 Hop. And this fabulous hop is put together by the uh, great leaders at Team Tiny on Facebook. They're here for us small creators who are under a thousand subbies to um, do these cute little hops. Uh, with a uniformed kind of theme in mind and uh, get our content out there for all of you lovely viewers, consumers of YouTube videos. <laughs> Team Hi Tiny is really fabulous. If you're a small content creator and like making crafty videos, you can go um, sign up to join and uh, share share hops with us. Now, this month is April, and it is your birthday month. So, my birthday month is December. So, it could be anything that just has to do with maybe your birthstone, um, your zodiac sign, um, your birthday month in general. And I was like, you know what? I love my birthday month. It's December. And I was like, I want to use my new... All to new, all sweet things, because if it's my birthday month, we want a birthday card, right? And I was debating what to do, and I had flipped it over to open it, and I saw this little example, okay? And it, I was like, oh, that's what I'll do. These beautiful little colorful squares, I'm going to put winter paper in there. And because it's birthday... Um, this little My Favorite Things pack I got from Crescent Creation is perfect because it's got bright colored um, bits and especially the snowflakes in the trees. And that's what I'm going to use. To, I mean, just look at that. So that's how I'm going to put mine together today. I might even use this one because let's face it. I love Christmas. If you want to make me a birthday card that looks like a Christmas ornament... I would not be sad. People people say, what, what do you want for Christmas? And I'm like, oh, buy me an ornament. And they look at me kind of funny. I'm like, no, I'm serious. You can buy me an ornament. Oh, look at that paper. Buy me an ornament. That one's cute. And I like that these are one-sided. So I'm not, oh, uh, which one do I want to use? I love ornaments. I love Christmas. I love Christmas for the decorations, um, the togetherness, all that fun stuff. Oh, there it is. Look at it. For the trees. <laughs> uh, so all we got to do now is decide what three patterns. And I really wanted to do... I want to do the trees. I'm liking the dots with the trees. And where's those snowflakes? Did I use them all? I want the bright snowflakes, I think. Bright snowflakes. Or there's the ornaments. Yeah, see, I like the ornaments in the trees. Look at that. And there'll be a little bit of space in there, remember, just like in our in the photo on the back of the stamps, they've got um, a white background, the three colors, and the ice cream. And I'm thinking, I want to do a black in between. Is that too much? Let's find out. I still can't, f oh, I think I just found those snowflakes right there. Yeah, I like the ornaments better than I do with the snowflakes with the trees. Because I definitely want the trees. So that's what we're going to do. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward, okay? Um, I'm going to stamp out and get this all ready. And then we'll be back together to assemble. So hang on. <laughs>
isn't that just adorable? I decided to go with like a strawberry mint Christmassy colors <laughs> for my lovely shake. Uh, and I had a little goober off of my ink pad, like a little fuzzy, and I didn't notice it and I stuck my finger in it. And so it smeared a little. So I just put a little bit of white gel pen just to kind of simmer it back because it's not too bad. But look at how cute is that? Oh my goodness. I do want to pop that up and give it a little bit of a lift. So I'm going to use my foam squares that I got from Crescent Creation right here. We're going to do, do three big ones and then this little piece of one that I had cut out for another project. I'm going to put right across the bottom. I probably shouldn't lay that on my card. Who knows? It might still be a little bit tacky. And this is it, you guys. It wasn't this just a quick little thing? Um, it took me 40 minutes to do this entire video from start to this point. So you can kind of uh, less than uh, a little a little over 30 minutes to stamp and fussy cut this image but if you do a lot of them at once you just exchange the card before you remove the piece okay maybe set it up on your misty where on one side you do a on the other side you do b and then you just stamp and go as you work I hope that made sense but uh, yeah stamp your images switch out the pages before you switch out your stamps and you can stamp a whole bunch of these oh my goodness uh, I was what I almost wanted to do like I do I do I want to do like something shiny in my topping right because it's whipped cream it's supposed to be fun um maybe not silver <laughs> Ooh, you know what i just got i just got white pops of color it's so new you guys look i haven't even used it yet so we're just gonna pull out this centerpiece and then chuck that in the garbage okay then we're gonna put this back on and I'm going to be very careful. Okay. I'm going to just give a little squirt here just to get it rolling. Okay. Please get, get away from my card now. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to follow a couple of the lines in the whipped cream. Just to give it a little pop of fun. Let's see how we do. Okay. I'm going to zoom you in only because I need to get my head closer. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to give a gentle squeeze. Gentle squeeze. And follow that line. Follow that line. And then maybe follow... It's very liquidy. It really wants to come out. Kind of taper down those little spikities. Gonna have to get used to how they come out. Look at that. Oh, I liked our whipped cream. Look at that. It's a little air bubble. It's kind of see-through right there, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. Oh, I wonder if they have a brown. I didn't buy a brown. I didn't think about it, but that would be really cute with chocolate, chocolate pops a dot, right? Oh my goodness, that's cute. And they also have a clear. Let's, let's see what that clear looks like. Clear, okay, because we could add it to our glass again. It's so brand new. Okay, we're going to 
pull that center piece and just grab like a little tissue or not. This one doesn't want to come out. I gotta move you out of my way. Oh, okay. So I just pushed it to the side and then it popped out. A little safety thing so they don't accidentally leak on their way to ya. Okay. So we're gonna hit down the side. Better, better get a little squeeze. We're gonna go down the side, across the bottom, and then we're just gonna kinda fill it in on the base. Kind of like um, diamond dots, not diamond dots, liquid glaze, you know, those, those things. We're just going to, okay, I like that. Oh, I like that. Let me, let me pull this across the top of the glass and then we're going to hit a couple of little spots in our ice cream just to accentuate that it would be a glass. And there we have it. Now I'm all done. <laughs> Look at that. It's gonna be a shiny, yeah, the whipped cream. I'm so happy with the whipped cream. So there it is, our Team Tiny Hop for April. Down in the description, you'll see the hashtag for Team Tiny's Hops this month. And all you got to do is click it and it will open up anybody else that has that hashtag. And then you can watch their videos. If you like them, give them a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. That's the purpose. That's our goal is to, to grab more viewers so we can hit that 1K mark. You know, that's a big milestone for YouTubers. Ugh, I love it. Our Christmas. Ugh. Christmassy treat. Yeah, Christmassy treat for your birthday. If your birthday's in Dece December, like mine. Until next time, my friends, I hope you have a wonderful crafty day. Bye-bye.